Hey everybody, Will here. I have eight Mac tips and tricks that are going to make your experience of using an Apple computer way, way better. These are things that I have scoured the internet for. I've used these all myself and I stand by these 100%. These make my life way easier. These are tools that are gonna be helpful for basically any type of Mac user. You know, whether it's a grandma sending emails once a week to a movie editor, these are universally helpful tools. And the best part of all is that they are either free, have a free version, or cost under $8. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, first up, we have none other than Better Touch Tool. Better Touch Tool is the absolute goat, and I mean that. Better Touch Tool turns any mouse, keyboard, uh, trackpad into a programmable surface. And you might be saying, well, like, what's the big deal? Like, why do I need that? I will show you why you need that. So here in Better Touch Tool, you get to choose your surface. So I'll say trackpad. And you can see here all the shortcut, short, shortcuts, shortcuts that I have made that trigger other actions. And the keyword here is time saving. Every single one of these saves me time. So for example, when I four finger click on my trackpad, so I use four fingers and I click down, it's gonna close the current window. Boom. So that saves me from having to click and drag my mouse to that tiny little speck of space that's going to exit that window. I frankly cannot live without better touch tool. Um, and I think that when you get it, you're gonna find the same thing. Uh, there's a free version for 45 days, uh, so definitely check that out. All links are in the description. Number two is a little tool called Spotica Menu. Uh, as you might have guessed, this has everything to do with Spotify. So if you are a Spotify user, what Spotica does is it takes what's currently playing in Spotify and puts whatever information you decide right here in your toolbar, menu bar thing. Uh, and that's that's so cool. I mean, how many times have you been typing in you know, your class, your important document, and you hear a song that you like, you don't recognize it, but you don't wanna break your concentration. You, you know, you're, you're flowing, you're going. Uh, rather than having to go to Spotify, like the song, and then get distracted by the 14,000 other songs that you wanna to listen to, you can stay right here in whatever you're doing, you can see the song name, and if you want, you can like it right there. It saves it to your Spotify library without ever having to leave. This, ladies and gentlemen, lifesaver. Another incredible feature about Spotica is that you can, you know, you can follow the artist from this little drop down by clicking that star. You can copy the song link. Uh, here you can go straight to the album. Uh, you can adjust your uh, volume preferences. Spotica is an absolute dream come true. Uh, it's like $3, so again, huge deal. There is, I believe, a free version as well. Link in the description, Spotica, you rule. Number three is called Mick Tagger. It's a play on the word Mick Jagger, and you will soon see why. So again, let's say I'm working hard, and the song that I'm listening to in Spotify really catches my attention. Well, I wanna stay focused, but I also wanna add it to a playlist for later. So again, instead of having to go back to Spotify to you know sort through my songs, find it, and then add the right playlist, all I have to do is press Command, Shift, Space, and it pulls up this little window. And that is the default shortcut that Mick Tagger uses. Uh, Mick Tagger syncs with my Spotify account so that when I type in a particular uh, playlist name, say Focus. Uh, it finds my playlist called Focus Electronica. When I press enter, it has automatically added that song to my Focus Electronica playlist. Uh, so hugely helpful tool, you know, with a keystroke and by typing in the name of the playlist, you instantly have that song added for later use without ever leaving the window that you are in. Amazing tool. Number four is a tool called Lyrics X. Lyrics X is a really wonderful little tool that allows you to see uh, an overlay of the song graph, of the song lyrics that, of whatever you're listening to. So what I can do is 
press Command Shift L and I get a floating window down here in the right with time sync lyrics. It's gonna stay on top of any window that I switch to, uh, which is really incredible. So uh, huge, huge winner. Uh, thank you to whoever made Lyrics X. Okay, number five is very simple, but oh my goodness, so effective. It's called Copy Clip. One word, Copy Clip. Uh, it keeps a history of everything that you've copied so that you never lose, you know, that important hyperlink, that important password, that important, you know, block of text. As long as you've copied it, Copy Clip is going to save it for you. It doesn't even have to be brief. You can copy an entire research paper and Copy Clip will save it there. Uh, all you have to do is go back, select that thing, and then it's back in your clipboard for you to copy once again. Love me some copy clip. I think you're gonna love it too. It is free, so treat yourself. Okay, number six is a little application called Get Plain Text, and the name could not be any more self-explanatory. Basically, it is going to help you take any formatted text that you have copied to your clipboard and it's going to strip that formatting. Let me show you an example. Uh, here's this website and Let's say I go ahead and press Command C. I have to pull it into Excel. Well, if I went and pressed Command V, uh, if I pasted it, it preserves that formatting, which is ugly. It messes up the height of my row, and it just it just looks terrible. I wish that I could put just plain text right here into Excel. What you can do is you can either turn on automatically clear formatting so that anything that you copy automatically is stripped of its formatting so that when I come here now and press command V it is it matches the formatting of this uh, this Excel sheet that I have already established which I love if you don't want it to continuously be clearing formatting from things out of your clipboard you can unselect this you can go and copy your formatted text and you can do a key you, you can press command shift C that's the uh, shortcut that I set to strip formatting and it'll do it on a kind of one by one basis. Uh, so great app, very simple, totally free, could not recommend it enough. Again, all links are in the description. Okay, number seven, uh, snip, spelt with an X. Uh, maybe it's snip. Uh, snip is wonderful, it allows you to take scrolling screenshots. So when I open snip, I get a little icon here in the toolbar and I press start capture. Uh, basically what I do is I click and drag the region and then if I click this little button here uh, I can start a scrolling capture so I'm scrolling down you can sh you can see there on the right that snip is stitching together in a re really seamless way uh, for as long as I choose to scroll so okay now I've gotten as much information that I as I want uh, I press this button here and it is now saved that scrolling screenshot to the folder I designated. If you scroll to the top of that screenshot, you'll see that I have a small watermark here from Snip. Uh, that's because I have the free version. I uh, highly recommend upgrading to the full version. Uh, there are additional features and it removes the watermark. Uh, so check Snip out. It's very, very inexpensive and uh, just incredible how well it stitches together uh, all of those separate screenshots. Just makes life very easy. Number nine is literally a work of technological engineering developing genius. Have you ever been in class for a work presentation and you see a slide deck and you say, oh man, there's, there's some really cool information on that slide deck, but I'm really just, I don't want to type it out. That's where Text Sniper comes in handy. Text Sniper with a simple shortcut, in my case, Command Shift 2 gives you a, sim a small crosshair. Again, I'm looking at an image right now. This is not a text file, but what I can do is I can click and drag over any text. And when I release, it's gonna analyze that text. And then down here, you'll see it has copied that text to my clipboard. So again, if I go up in my clipboard history, I now see that I have all of that text copied so conveniently so that when I pull up my Word document, whatever I'm taking my notes in, and I press paste, it has literally turned that into uh, editable text for me. I believe it was $3 uh, worth every single penny. I would buy it 10 more times. 
All right, everybody, that concludes our eight tips and tricks to make your Mac usage better and more efficient. I hope that you found something helpful in this video. In fact, while you're here, please leave a comment. I would love to know which tool you are most excited about. Uh, again, hope this was helpful and subscribe so that future videos like this will show up on your front page of YouTube. And thank you so much for tuning into this debut video and I will see you next time.